change mode plus x that means executable install that dot sh as it is already uh, executable you can see here in the permissions so that is already permitted so all I just uh, need to type this command dot slash install dot sh and then it will start uh, the procedure okay so it's asking uh, which type of our operating system you're using I'm using Ubuntu so I'm gonna select two and then uh, select the installation type new installation or upgrade I'll say upgrade because I already have the installed uh, version and it's asking for the version hello and welcome to my channel okay in last video we installed radius manager and uh, I have already uploaded the license files uh, into the server okay so let's go and access it 192.168.21.10 uh, radius oops okay I'm able to access it and uh, the default username is admin and the password is for time number one that is a default username and password for this right you can see I'm logged in as uh, admin today's date and the version is 4.1.0 so in this video we'll also learn how we can update uh, this version for now uh, I'll go to the version 4.1.6 as I have the license of that uh, and after uh, like 4.2 there is uh, there is some uh, some other stuff too and uh, I don't have yet license for that because I'm not running any ISP I'm just uh, using this for training purposes so that's why I'm using this version but no worries every single version of this is almost same there's just uh, the changes of bug fixes all I see on their website okay let's get started with the update okay here is the method I will copy and paste uh, into the uh, comment section or no sorry description you can uh, see and uh, update accordingly but what I do I, I use win scp this software I download the file uh, on my computer and check the files if they are correct then I uh, move that file to to the temp folder all right so I'm going to temp and I'll see uh, yes here is it 4.1.6 I already have checked that so that's why you are able to see the directory here okay so I'll go into the directory uh, that method is uh, you can call automated method that will uh, do by itself using these commands if you want to use that commands uh, you can do that or otherwise you can use this method which is more easier much easier and understandable like uh, I'm showing you guys one by one first of all I checked that uh, I have that file in the server radius manager 4.1.6 and then I'll use that command tar z zxvf and uh, I already have performed this one this is for unextract this file and create a folder and you guys can see uh, I already have the folder radius manager 4.1.6 so I'm not going to apply that command okay I'm going into uh, I'm already there and uh, check the files so here you need to uh, give this file to access execute to become executable and we'll do that with ch mode change mode plus x that means executable install that dot sh 
as it is already uh, executable you can see here in the permissions so that is already permitted so all I just uh, need to type this command dot slash install dot sh and then it will start uh, the procedure okay so it's asking uh, which type of our operating system you're using I'm using Ubuntu so I'm gonna select two and then uh, select the installation type new installation or upgrade I'll say upgrade because I already have the installed uh, version and it's asking for the version uh, 3.8 3.9 4.0 x and further so I'll select I will select for 23 that it's uh, 4.1 after uh, 4.0 okay and the uh, path it's asking yes path is correct okay it's saying that you already have a radius manager directory over there you want to override I'll say yes and uh, radius database local host yes username is radius password is radius one two three correct local host contract and con one two three yes correct correct and the HTTP user is triple w dash data yes create rm polar or yes 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 okay so uh, the version I'm installing is uh, modified by me so there are some changes uh, and you guys can also uh, download this uh, theme I'll also put this uh, link in the description okay let's go and refresh the page there you go boom okay it's uh, the updated theme and uh, you can say the responsive theme as you can uh, use it in the phone and it will become like phone application okay here you see uh, one issue that radius server is not running just go to the tools and click restart radius server all right radius is okay and then click on rebuild client.config there you go all right guys thank you so much for watching the video we'll meet in the next video bye bye peace out Thank you.